Hello everyone, in this video we will see how can we export a report of all the group members along with their group name. This was a very commonly asked question in community so I thought of making a video on it. For that you will have to understand the simple basic structure of the tables in ServiceNow. We have a user table where we store all the users information for example users location, manager, phone number and many more fields. In groups, we store the group name and the group manager and other group details like description and all. And finally, we have a table called group member. The database name of this table is this user gr member. In this table, there are only two columns and both of those are reference fields where the first field is the user field and second field is the group field. So in this table, we have a reference of a user and a group and it stores the relationship between the user and a group. So for example, able tutor, if he is part of the service desk team, there will be a record of user as able tutor. So his sys ID and the group name, the service desk and the sys ID of that group. Let's quickly see this table in service now. Sys user gr member dot list. And here we can see the group name for example, generic chat group and Annabelle is the member of this group and so on. If there are multiple members of the same group, they will have multiple records for each and every member. If you can see here for network, we have two records and Fred Luddy and ITL user are part of that. Now let's quickly see how can we create a report on this along with additional columns and I will click on create new. If you don't know how to create reports in service now, please click on the top right corner. And here I will give the report name and I can say group member report. And I will give source type as table and I will select the same table name which we just discussed. And the name of the table is group member. And I will select this. I will click on next. I will keep the type as list. Then I'll click on next and here you can see we have the list of group and its users and we can simply take out this report. But what if you want other details from this group table and the user table for that we'll go to choose columns and here along with group you can see a plus sign and I'll click on this button and I will get the details of all the fields of this group table. For example, if I need the group manager. I can drag this here and along with the group we will get the group manager. Then I can click here again and I can go to the user and click again on this button and I can see all the fields of the user table as well now. And for example now I want to see the country code of the user then the location and then maybe the manager name. Now if you notice again there is a plus sign in front of location and manager so that means location and manager are also a reference field so you can further dig into the location table. So for example I click on this button again and now I can see the location table as well. So now I can pull the state province of which is present in the location table or any other field which is present on this location. I'll click on OK and I will save this. And now we can see all the details of group and the group manager's name, then user, its country code, location, the user's manager and state province. So this is how you can pull the details from other tables as well. And then you can right click on any of the headers and export the report in Excel, XML, JSON, PDF as you want. So when you export this report, be careful that the column names will come as manager here and this manager will come as same as manager. So when you are sending data to someone in the Excel, be sure to rename this as users manager or groups manager. So you have to be mindful of that. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please let me know in comments. If you have any questions, please subscribe to my channel.